Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my dear students grade 8 uh, today our lesson is uh, continuing of uh, the same chapter 7 uh, tools used in photoshop uh, here inshallah today we'll talk about uh, selection some of the selection tools uh, first <coughs> let's open an image will open an image for example this picture here <clears throat> to zoom the picture uh, just press control plus and to zoom out the picture just press control minus remember that uh, uh, every time you make more zoom in, on your picture you can make a better control and a, big, a better effect you can work accurately on your image uh, today we have uh, uh, here the first selection tool is the uh, marquee tools marquee tools it's by default it's a, a rectangular I mean a square selection used for square selection this way okay and if you want to move or drag the picture just use the moving tool this way so now I can drag and move my selection area we'll go back if you press here on this black arrow here at the edge of the rectangular marquee tool you will find there is a elliptical tool marquee tool and single row marquee tool and single column marquee tool all these tools are used for selection uh, for example this elliptical marquee tools used to select part of the picture on round or elliptical shape and then I can move my image like I told you and all those selection tools are used on the same way this is the single row single row selection and then I can move my selection And I have also lasso tools. Lasso tools are used to make a freehand, a freehand selection in your image. Follow the steps uh, so that you can select an area of your image with lasso tools. Okay, here I'm selecting the lasso tools. For example, let me press Control Plus to zoom the picture now I can select by pressing the mouse button continuously and dragging on the shape of the picture to make your selection remember that always you have to go back to the same first spot of your selection so that you can have your selections closed this way now I can move my selection that is how I am using the lasso tools remember always to put your history so you can always go back on your steps to view the history just go to the windows menu and then select history from here okay again windows and show history menu so here I have my history menu that has all the steps that I have made since I opened my file till open if I press on this corner 
here on this edge on the arrow I have something called uh, polygonal lasso tools polygonal lasso tools this is also used for selection okay using freehand selection and remember that to go back to the first spot where you have started your selection now I can copy for example this image and I can paste it here now I have two sparrows as you can see one sparrow on my original photo and the other one which is pasted over it after this I can use maybe the eraser tool to start enhancing a little bit my picture and erasing the additional unwanted part of the picture now as you see and as I told you before my dear students that the most important things in uh, Photoshop is layers to view the layers again just you have to press on uh, window <coughs> and click on layers here so here is my layers window appears in this layer window you have an eye icon eye icon means the picture is active and ca I can disactivate it by pressing this eye indicator here as you see now I can clean little of my picture to enhance make it look a little bit more real other selection tools here I have also something called magic lasso tool magic lasso tool just by clicking by mouse clicking the mouse button continuously and dragging it over the shape automatically it will shape your image if you made a mistake like I have made here you just have to press delete and continue on your selection and it helps in fast selection see I made a mistake here so I have to press delete to go back remember always to go back to the same place where you have started your selection also my dear students I can copy this and I can paste it here again and every time I'm making copy and paste automatically a new layer will be created Sorry. now I can move my layer and I can always say edit free transform free transform to resize my image and then drag it wherever you want then at the end you just press enter press enter now by clicking on that layer 
that layer will be active for me to move it or drag it anywhere I want still there is something in this image Right, you see that I'm using the eraser to erase the little bit of the background to make it look all of it on the same picture. My dear students, that was the lesson for today. Thank you very much. Don't forget always to save your image. Inshallah, next lesson will be about more how to use those tools in Photoshop. For now, just make save as. And your file in Photoshop will be always saved on .bsd or .bdd and that is the extension format for Photoshop just to rename your my or birds let me rename it birds and save it in my desktop and click on save and say ok Thank you very much my dear students and that was your lesson today.